Jeff Mitty on the opposing sideline, ninth season at Kansas State. We'll get into their story, but we're underway in the regular season home finale for Oklahoma. Yanusa gets a screen from Scott and rims one in to get the scoring started. Yeah, you're going to see, I think, an aggressive Oklahoma team, but this Kansas State team is very, very solid, and they're going to play pretty air-free up and down the floor. K-State, you see the starting lineup for Jeff Mitty. They went to the NCAA tournament second round a season ago, but a rash of injuries that began with All-American Ayoka Lee in the preseason. They are led by former Oklahoma Sooner Gabby Gregory, who leads the Big 12 in total points scored and is second in scoring average. Beyond that, it's three sophomores, including Serena Sundell and the Glenn sisters, Jalen and Briley. There goes Jalen on the move, and she converts it. These are long, rangy, athletic guards, Dan. And play exceptionally well in transition. So it's going to be imperative that Oklahoma do a good job offensively and, and take care of the basketball. Yanusa has the first Sooner bucket. You look at our Love's starting five for the Sooners. Love's travel stops the heart of the highway. 497 total starts for this group. And the final regular season home games for the sixth-year senior, Yanusa to improve on won it too much and yeah. Oklahoma might have been a little bit guilty of that. that's what I like about coach Baranchek her measure is excellence and if if it's about excellence you're just always trying to get better sooner week on February the 27th she scores to tie it yeah Sundell has great length at that wing position two minutes in six for Oklahoma early substitution finding Heavenly Greer in the game. Hasn't played a lot recently. She's only played now in four of the last seven games. But she's in early tonight for Jeff Mitty and the Wildcats. Gregory cut off by Scott. Shot clock is down to five. Briley Glenn going to work. Scores it off the window. Better offense for Kansas State. That, that's a big-time finish late in the shot clock. A Maddie Williams three. A lot of respect to her improvement. That shot looks so good. And I remember years ago, this has been a developing three that she now has. Posting Gabby Gregory against Maddie Williams. And that's off the mark. Liz Scott corrals it. That's something Kansas State will do a lot of. A lot of post-ups for their guards and wings. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they have that inside-outside look starting with their guards. Tot. Trying to work around Jalen Glenn. Instead, Yanusa pitches out of a double team to Liz Scott. Shot clock is down to 10. Patty Williams got to get a shot away. Working inside, a little bump from Glenn, and it still lands for yeah. Maddie. Big time finish right there. Hawkett's going to have to get a shot up. Three seconds to shoot, and Aubrey Jones comes over to take it. I think Gabby Gregory took a shot to the mouth on that exchange. She's checking that out as she runs back to play defense. Van to the cutting Aubrey Jones, but it's knocked away. Picked up by Moppin. It's Kansas State one and push, as you said, Dan. Sundell splits a double team and scores it off the window. Yeah, that might be the best thing Kansas State does is in transition play. Jeff Mitty has said Kansas State so much better when Sundell is aggressive. It has led to more consistency for them. Last week, she averaged 22 and a half points per game. Jones for three. Van corrals it and scores it. Wow. Just really good. Weak side rebounding on that mismatch. And Van sticking it back in. 13-8 Sooners. Four minutes left here in the opening period. A Gregory three is a little bit strong. And here comes Aubrey Jones and the Sooners. Williams nearly traveled as Ebert closed out strong on her. Fan with a three. It's good. Six down to five now. Moppin from the baseline. No. Williams to a cutting fan, but she couldn't quite handle it. Here comes Sundell. End to end, Sundell with contact from Tucker. And Sundell will shoot a pair when we come back. But Oklahoma shooting the three well early on in this one. Lead them through this difficult process of getting back up off the mat. So well said. As impressive and as versatile as she has been 
her influence as a teammate, her influence as a leader, just as dramatic and just as impressive to watch over these years. Infectious was the word yeah, that's that good. Jenny Baranchik used. Robertson to Scott. A little screen and roll action. With the type of touch to where a player is going, she sees defense well. You know, I understand she's the greatest shooter <laughs> in the history of the game from three, but I would also tell you she is an incredible good passer in those type of situations. The Scott, one of two free throws. Kennedy Tucker has the offensive rebound. That creates a Robertson three. Moppin had the rebound. And out of bounds it goes. They say that Liz Scott poked it out of bounds. But they're missing some personnel <laughs> that are potentially, if, with a return next year, you know, you're, you're going to see this Kansas State team really climb. Taylor Robertson picks up the loose ball. Really, it is three players who would have been key ingredients. Yeah. Lost for the season to injury. Robertson's three is blocked as Ebert leans out and knocks it away. Shot clock is at 15. And a blocking foul. That'll be number two on Dollinger. But yes, your point, Dan. Aoka Lee out for the year. He saw a Sanchez also an Arizona transfer. That was back on November the 7th when Harris was lost in their game against Central Arkansas. And she's a freshman who was going to factor in. Yeah, you can see the, the energy from Oklahoma. Gabby Gregory has yet to score. Went to the bench for a bit and now back in there. Three short out of the hand of Ebert and a foul on the rebound against Kansas State. And that's going to put the Sooners at the foul line. Yeah, that's on Heavenly Greer. And their biggest win was over then fourth-ranked Iowa. They beat them 84-83. From the TCU now to Kansas State. Boy, he just does a great job of getting whatever strengths his team's got and bringing them out. It's an 8-0 Oklahoma run. Liz Scott can't capitalize at the foul line. Wide open three for Ebert. In and out and no good. And Taylor Robertson with the rebound. Kansas State 0 for 6 from three-point range. I love seeing Taylor Robertson rebound like that, and I think that's something she has gotten better at. Van showing off the mid-range game. Seven early points for Van and a 10-0 sooner run. Boy, big boost. You know, you're, you're looking at, at my pick for the sixth player of the year in the Big 12 after watching her all season. Sundell called for the offensive foul. Good defensive positioning by Kennedy Tucker to take the charge. Matched Texas defensively. Their defensive effort was there. Yeah. And Kennedy Tucker was a big part of that Saturday. Taylor Robertson's first three of the night. It drops through career number 520 for three, Rob. Gregory beats everybody the other way, and she'll earn a trip to the foul line. Gregory and Sundell have each been to the foul line more than 150 times. <laughs> and Gabby Gregory, first meeting between these teams. She went 11 times, made 10 free throws, but missed them both. And Skyler Van has the rebound. This is an overall 18-2 Oklahoma run to close this opening period. Yeah, you're going to see Oklahoma play for the last shot. Robertson and Gabby Gregory. This Scott was wide open. That's going to be three seconds in the lane. <laughs> Too unselfish. <laughs> That's a pretty good shot right there. She turned down. Wildcats try to get a shot away. Jalen Glenn, that was knocked away, though, by Kennedy Tucker. And that's how the first period ends. Absolutely. Three for seven from three. Got a, the bench nine points in the first quarter. Yes, the close was the key. Serena Sundell at the controls. This is Jalen Glenn trying to post up inside. Gregory backing down Maddie Williams. Shot clock did reset there, but it rolls out of bounds and goes to Oklahoma. She had a 22-point game against Oklahoma State and 18 in that big win over then fourth-ranked Iowa. Shot clock under 15 here for the Sooners. Kansas jumping into a zone right now. Yanusa triggers and hits a three. Wait. 
great ball movement, great realization that Kansas State had gone to a zone. Gregory off the mark with that one. Oklahoma with a 16-0 run in progress. Nevaeh Tott lines one up, and she hits a three. Five of nine from downtown for Oklahoma so far tonight. Oklahoma blistering hot five of nine from three-point range and shooting nearly 60% from the field so far. This is Sarah Shamatsi off the mark. Wildcats can't find the range from downtown 0 for 9. This one picked up by Sundell. And she will glide the other way and stop that 19-0 Oklahoma run. That's one thing that Kansas State can do for steals and convert. Oh, absolutely. Medusa missed it. And that wow. rebound picked up by Liz Scott. There's more effort, but she was on the baseline. 50 seals, one of the referees, right on top of it. You can see her come into the frame there. She saw Liz Scott out of bounds. Here's a post up for Gregory. Jalen Glenn to the bucket and in. Back to back buckets for Kansas State. Yeah, Glenn with a great little floater right there. Such a diverse player. She had back to back double doubles this year against Iowa State, Texas Tech, and 12 points, six rebounds, two and a half steals, two assists per game. This kind of stuffs the stat column. Nice pass from Gregory. And that lay in falls for Eliza Moppin. And the Sooners will take a timeout. So six straight points for Kansas State. Let's see if Oklahoma makes some adjustment. You know what makes a zone uncomfortable? Yeah. The all time three point shooting leader <laughs> in women's college basketball history. Taylor Robertson has returned. Beautiful move by Liz Scott. What footwork. And what you love about that is the moving offensive post. A strength of Oklahoma. This will be a held ball. And she's a great example of that. If you're in movement, man, it's really hard. I don't care what your length is. It's going to be hard to stop. Aubrey Jones got tangled up. Gregory finds Sundell running the floor. And Nevaeh Tott fouls Serena Sundell. And she has picked up where she left off. Five assists per game this year. One of two. Taylor Robertson has one made three in this game. That extends her consecutive games with a three made streak to 70. Liz Scott gets free and scores again. She is really exerting her presence. Yeah, Liz Scott has really worked early work for positions inside Oklahoma doing a great job of finding her. Seven points and five rebounds for Liz Scott in this first half. Here's Sundell trying to work her way around Aubrey Jones. Jalen Glenn with the three, and it's good. First made three for Kansas State tonight. Boy, Glenn doing a great job of relocating against the Oklahoma defense. Van can't finish it. The foul on the rebound lately and in her last Virginia. She had 11 at West Virginia the other day. Van circles wide open on the end. Jalen Glenn tries another and hits another. Taylor Robertson. Wow. They left her alone, Dan. Greer trying to go over the top of Scott, but Liz Scott rebounds it. Kennedy Tucker, a corner three. That one is good. He just stepped into it with confidence. But talking about confidence, Taylor Robertson is literally available to finish anywhere in the half court. Sundell slides down the lane, bumps into Liz Scott, and is it you expected to go in? You know, I, I look at the bench over there, have a really great shooter. Been that way for five years for her. <laughs> 521 career made threes. Women's college basketball's all time leader. And there's another. There goes Sundell along the baseline. Bucket. 
can't convert the old-fashioned three-point play, but Moppin rebounds and puts it in. Shot clock is off. Sooners can hold for the final shot of the opening half. Oklahoma can forge a first-place tie with Texas atop the Big 12 with one game left in the regular season if they can win it. Maddie Williams, ball fake to the bucket. Unfriendly roll. This is senior night. That's supposed to fall for a senior, but it did not. They are listed in the next four out as far as the NCAA tournament is concerned and Charlie Cream's bracketology. So here we go with half number two. This is Serena Sundell, who led the Wildcats in scoring with 11 in the first half. Jalen Glenn's three is off the mark. Taylor Robertson gets run off the three-point line. Jalen Glenn comes back the other way. Gabby Gregory did not score in the first half, Dan. You talked about it. The defense that Oklahoma played on Gabby Gregory and this Kansas State team was way, way good. And you can see that the attention to detail, you know, and that bounce back kind of mentality that we're seeing early in this game shot clock is down to one and a foul on the rebound Yanusa gonna be called for bumping underneath crowd still standing in anticipation of the first sooner made and pass second three of the night for Yanusa that three off the mark but for Shimatsi yeah Shimatsi's been impressive their activity level her ability, just his confidence is growing throughout the game. That pass inside was tipped. I think it was actually Dollinger who got a finger on it. Gabby Gregory lines one up, and that's her first bucket of the night. An open three for Tot. No. Rebounded by Jalen Glenn. Gregory beats everybody the other way and hits her second. 70 made threes this season. Just moving it around. Finally, a wide open look for Todd, and she sends it home. Nevaeh Todd stepping up, hitting her second three of the game. Oklahoma has made 10 of 19 from three point land tonight. Now, Gregory posts. Jalen Glenn with the floater. Oklahoma will push off a made bucket. Stolen. Sundell floats it back up top. Gregory trying to work free. And Gregory plows her way to the basket and travels with it. Van draws a double team and finds a wide open Maddie Williams, but she can't find the range from the foul line. Jalen Glenn and knocks down the third. Tot, no. Rebound. Chase down, a run out here by Sundell. All the way, knocks down Robertson. Transition, making use of the three-point shot. This is the closest that it has been, 16 to 8. And Oklahoma started to pull away. Kansas State is right in it now. And a steal. Sundell picked it up. But Tot, man, wide open. In and out, no good. The three ball for Greg was two of 14 from three-point range in the first half. They've already made four of six in half number two. So where might Oklahoma go? 10-0 Kansas State run. Fan, unguarded score. Important to this lead for Oklahoma. Her play has been very substantial. That stops a 10-0 Kansas State run. Skyler Van has nine points to lead the Sooners tonight. Off the screen, Sundell blasts another. Four minutes left in the third. We've got a ball game. Yeah. Van posting. A handoff for Maddie Williams. And she threw it away. Right to Sundell. One-on-one -on -one against Tucker. Sundell makes it a one-point game. To get back within one. Van cuts in and scores. What a nice for Oklahoma. 
Sundell all the way in. Maddie Williams partially blocked that and took it away. And Sundell is injured at the back end of this one, as is Skyler Van. That one goes off Van's hand. Beg your pardon, it was Yanusa who was down for the Sooners. They're both back up. Beautiful touch pass. Shamat. Maddie Williams knocks down. Good job attacking that elbow area against the zone. Sooners trying to find some holes. There's Van, another rebound. Hide their body area, bring it in, and go right to the goal. And she converts the three-game stretch against TCU, West Virginia, and Baylor, where she averaged 16 points. And at 20 to play in the third. Backside lob and up to Gnusa. Sliding down the lane. An open three for Robertson. That hit the side of the backboard. Still, the ball hasn't touched the rim. Shot clock is at 10. Robertson traveled with it. Shot. And it's a shot that could tie this game or give Kansas State the lead. Moppin fouled. Five rebounds, but off the mark there. With... And a one-point game. See Heavily Greer returns. Two seconds. Tot trying to sprint end to end. Got the shot away, but it's no good. And we have a one-point game. Dan, this is where your seniors need to shine, isn't it? It is. Your leadership needs to step up. You play for these moments. These are defining moments with a team when you're in the fourth quarter with a one-point lead and a chance to move into first place. Yanusa trying to dart down the baseline. Knocked out of bounds by Heavenly Greer. Nine to shoot. Well, I think a couple things have happened. I, I, turnovers. You know, Kansas State's been able to play in transition because of steals and turnovers by Oklahoma. Cullinson back up. No. Swatted around by Greer. Sooners get another look at it. Maddie Williams a three. Gabby Gregory has that rebound. But Kansas State has gotten more done in the paint. And that's something that I think Oklahoma's got to deal with both defensively but offensively. They've got to kind of answer the paint points. This three for Sundell gives Kansas State the first lead of the night for the Wildcats. Where they have become energized by the three ball. It is their sixth made three on eight tries since intermission. Crowd is stunned inside the Lloyd Noble Center. There's the senior. Kansas State has shot 65% from the field in the second half. Gregory's been a big part of that. Ten to shoot in the hands of Sundell. Tied at 60. Jalen Glenn, a three, no. And Taylor Robertson with the rebound, her fifth. That's knocked away and stolen by Glenn. And Maddie Williams got a hand on that. Something they've got to clean up in this fourth quarter because we got an even, even game at 7.49 to go. Sundell for three, no, across the rim. And out of bounds, it'll be Oklahoma ball. 26-16 advantage there, plus 10. That's been a big source for them. Yeah, and it's not just post play or post up. It's transitional play and drives into the lane. Robertson gives the Sooners the lead. Maddie Williams lost her shoe. She has one of her shoes in her hand right now. And she's guarding without it. There's Mop and Cullinton got a piece of that. She's putting it back on now. That may be the best defense I've ever seen without a shoe. Inside Cullinton. Up, no, but a foul on Mop and holding her shoe. Now that was priceless by Taylor Robertson. Exactly what you want from your seniors. Kansas State ball. That's two fouls on Adi Anusa. A three by Shamatsi. No. And Beatrice Cullinton there for the rebound. She's made a bunch of threes today. She's made, I should say, this season. She's made 29. Yeah, she was comfortable taking it. Big possession, I think, for Oklahoma right here. 
near turnover as once again Sundell got a hand on it. She is a menace out there defensively at the front of that zone. Culleton a dump down. Maddie Williams blocked, but a foul against Shamatsi, and that's five. Shamatsi fouls out without scoring and three rebounds. And it, neither team really in a position to take advantage of the bonus situation until the foul line becomes part of the story near the end. This is an 8 nothing run by Oklahoma after Kansas State took the lead yeah. and another turnover. Yeah, and you can see full court defense by Kansas State coming out of that timeout. Sooners barely break it. Taylor Robertson into Van. Extra pass for Liz Scott. Couldn't finish it. Got her own rebound, though. Back up and in. Great persistence. Wonderful high-low action. 19 Oklahoma turnover. Sundell knocks down Kennedy Tucker. Count the bucket and a foul. What a night for Sundell. You do not want to take your foot off the gas. Even a little bit. Van with a step back three. No. Rebounded by Jalen Glenn. Here's Sundell in attack mode. Probing Sooner defense. Sundell resets. And that was kicked. Gregory falls away. And that one rims in. Three-point game. Yeah. So Kansas State has scored five straight. And a steal. Glenn races to the rim and lays it in. We have a one-point game again. So important for Oklahoma. 7-0 run by Kansas State. There's Maddie Williams, and it's good again. Williams stepping up on that elbow jumper. 15 for Maddie Williams to lead the Sooners. Jalen Glenn floats it up and in. That was a beautiful little. Well, you see the core of this team, the Glens and Sundell, all sophomores. Yeah. Scott posts. Greer tried to knock it away, and Scott, two free throws for Liz Scott. Two critical free throws. Under three to play. Heavenly Greer has that tip by Taylor Robertson who steals it. Big turnover for Taylor Robertson. Van had it stripped back. Swinging it inside. The double team arrives. Gregory missed it, but she will go to points of any Big 12 player this year. And that's with missing. Got them both. Yanusa turns down the three. Lops it out top and turns it over. Threw it to Jalen Glenn. Three on one. Sundell lays it in in Kansas State. For Oklahoma. And it goes to Van. Fouled from behind. Two free throws for Van. No. Under a minute to play. Ten to shoot. Sundell going to work against Yanusa. Gregory, hard drive, forces it up and in in Kansas State. Inside. Two-point lead. Kansas State on top. Nearly a turnover. Maddie Williams putting it on the deck. Knocks down Sundell off. Finally, it comes in, and Jalen Glenn having a number of timeouts. First free throw is good. And Glenn got them both, so a two-possession game. Oklahoma, do they need a three, Dan, or can you get a quick two? Well, you'd like a three, or at least great drive right there, lay in. Quick two for Matty Williams. Still 19 seconds. Two-point game, offensive foul. Yanusa draws a foul yeah. against Sundell. And Oklahoma's going to get it back down two with 19 seconds left. What a defensive play. Shot clock is off. Two-point lead for Kansas State. Maddie Williams 
Little ball fake. Forces it up. Left-handed. Missed it. Loose ball inside. Out of bounds. And they will reset nothing because the shot clock is off. This paid dividends the last time they were able to pick up a turnover. Into Gabby Gregory. And was that ball tipped? The call is yes. They're definitely looking. They're definitely looking, yes. And that foul was whistled really before the ball got inbound. Yeah, Gabby, her ability to, to get her rhythm from three in the third quarter really kind of changed the momentum for Kansas State. Nine straight road losses for Kansas State. A chance to snap that here tonight and get a huge win. Gregory cannot convert. So it'll be a one possession game one way or the other. 6.3 left. Expect Oklahoma to rebound. Timeout. And Oklahoma will be able to advance it. Here we go. Kansas State, of course, can elect a foul, which they do. They do. Hard to make a three if you get fouled first. Great. Expect Kansas State no timeout. Oklahoma going to foul immediately. And a two-point game with 6.3 left. 78-76. Ebert throws in Sundell, fouled immediately by Matty Williams. Into that NCAA tournament. Sundell, one point shy of tying a career high, misses the first. And we're going to be in the same situation here with a make. Oklahoma will immediately take a timeout and advance the ball. But she missed them both, and there is the timeout. Well done. It'll be Skyler Van to inbound for Oklahoma. Inbound to Maddie Williams trying to find Van back door and it's tied 1.4 left And on wow. senior night Oklahoma forces overtime Big time out of bounds play and it'll be Maddie Williams to jump it against Eliza Moppin Sooners will get the first look in our first five-minute overtime Bob up top toward Yanusa that skims fingertips and goes out of bounds. Right now you can see Oklahoma getting organized. Five to shoot. Into Van. Kick out three. Taylor Robertson on the way and home. Wow. You can see it coming. Great presence late in the shot clock. Inside out. Taylor Robertson, probably the place to go. The counter comes from Sundell, who gets a career high and makes it a one-point game. And foul line jumper is true. Sundell's had a career night. Spins. Wow. And she's fouled. 28 for Sundell. And that was the third foul on Van. Kansas State fans have got a lot to... To watch in the coming years, watching her grow and play. One point game and 30 for Sundell. Under three left in overtime, number one. Van tried to post inside and she's wrestled by Emily Everett. Van cashes in the first. It's and 20 one, for Skyler Van. And you know, one of the keys we talked about is defending without fouling, and that is going to be paramount in the close of this game. And here's Sundell. Full attack mode. Scoops it up. No, but a foul on Van is going to be her fourth. Off the mark, though, with the first of two free throws. One of two for Sundell. There it is. 
Maddie Williams, no again. She's missed a couple point blank. And remember, she's got four fouls. Those are good looks. Gregory got a big screen from Moppin. Yanusa ran right over Moppin. Yeah. And so Moppin will shoot two. Moppin converts that. She's made four of five. And one of two with Maddie Williams rebounding. Oklahoma by one. 45 seconds remaining. One point game. 23 seconds on the shot clock. 39 on the game clock. Taylor Robertson shouting out instructions. Shot clock is already down to six. Yanusa will attack. Dives right in and scores it. Big finish. Big finish. Now the stop. Each team has a timeout left. Gregory for a tie. No. And 14 seconds left. And the Sooners lead it by three. Bayat Tot sprints to claim the inbounds catch. And the foul is committed in the backcourt. Or, or, or I would not advance the ball. I would play <laughs> offense from a full court standpoint here. It's going to be interesting. They may choose to take it if it's a three-point game. Maddie Williams makes it a two-possession game, 88-84. Kansas right. State will not use the only timeout they have. Sundell working her way inside. Missed it. Got her own miss and scores. So two-point game, 1.7 left. Quick inbound to Van, and she's fouled by Gabby Gregory. And and the events work some missed free throws and then an incredible lay-in by Skylar Van. So they put point four on the clock. Skylar Van makes that one to make it a three-point game. Yeah. Skylar Van is the one who sent it to overtime. And she just made it a two-possession game with 1.4 left. They are a combined 12 of 16 between the two of them. 1.4 left. And a steal by Kennedy Tucker. She came in for defensive purposes. And on Super Senior Night, the Sooners.